Today class are discussing the unit 4 differentiation. Actually, what is the differentiation? Differentiation is just, just the operator. You have to differentiate the functions. For example, if you have a uh, y is a for example, you have functions y equal to x square. So, so here this is a y is a dependent variable, but x is a independent variable. So, in this function, you have to differentiate the functions. You have to differentiate the function. Actually, what is the differentiation? Differentiation is nothing but you have to rate of change of the one variable with respect to the another variable. For example, this is a dependent variable, but this is an independent variable because y is depends upon the x. So, they have to differentiate the functions. So, this is a differentiation function you have to differentiate one variable with respect to another variable. This is, this is simply told as rate of change of one variable with respect to the another variable. So, here rate of change of variable, rate of change of y variable with respect to the x variable. So, you have to differentiate the functions. To differentiate the function, you have to separate se several notations now. For example, this is our telling now dy by dx or else. If a function, for example, f dash of x, these are all, de de these are all de derivatives of functions. The next, this will be I am telling the first. For example, d by dx of f of x. So, these are different notations. This is a differentiation function. You have to, if you understand the basic concept, for example, if you have differentiated the functions, x variable you have differentiation with respect to x. You have to differentiate the function with respect to x. To differentiate, there are so many applications in your engineering. You have to, some functions you have to differentiate. For example, if you find out the velocity of the car, if you find out the velocity of the car, now how if you find the velocity of the car, differentiate with respect to the time. For example, I am tra traveling the distance, 5 kilometers like that. Now, we should find out the velocity of them, velocity of the car. For example, I am tra traveling the, the distance, distance 5 kilometers. I have to travel the distance from one place to another place. This is a distance 5 kilometers. Then, you have to, with respect to time. So, for example, S is I am telling the S. S is a distance. We should find derivative. Derivative of the functions. We have to find out the velocity. We have to find out the velocity of the car. So, we have to ds by dt. So, this is a function. You have to derivative the function. For example, the function should be depends upon the time. So, this is a ds by dt. You have to velocity and then we, have, we should find the acceleration. These are all the derivative. For example, if you finding the acceleration, acceleration of the car. If you find the acceleration of the car, this will be what? Derivative of the velocity by time or else this will be told the second derivative of the displacement d square s by dt square. This is a derivative have this, this so many applications in there. So, actually what is the differentiation? So, in the differentiation, I have told that why, why is a function you have to. In the differentiation, there are the two types of differentiations there. The difference there are two types of differentiation. What is the two types of differentiation? So, one is a ordinary differentiation and another one is the partial differentiation. So, what is the difference between ordinary and partial? So, ordinary means for example, if a function only one independent variable, for example, y equal to x square. In this function, y is a function. This is how many independent variable we have only one independent variable. So, depend where you have to y is a function with respect to x. We should find out the differentiation function with respect to x. So, here only one independent variable. In this for example, same y equal to x square t square and then k square have the three independent variable now. So, you should find out this is a I have to only one independent variable, this is called ordinary differentiation. This is called ordinary differentiation. So, 
to functions more than one independent variable. See the functions not only 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. This is a partial differentiation. This is called partial differentiation. So, you have this separate notation. For example, if you find out ordinary differentiation now, I can put the what? So, here dy by dx. So, dy, what is dy by dx? You have to de derivate the functions. So, so, here you can apply the x power n formula. What is x power n formula? x power n is nx power n minus 1. So, here x square will be there. So, I could find out the here x square will be 2x. So, this is an ordinary differentiation. How should you find the partial differentiation? Can You can use the symbol by dou. Uh, if you add a differentiation, you can use the dy by dx. If you can use a partial derivative, you can use a dou. For example, see here I can find out the dou y by dou x, then dou y by dou t, then dou y by dou k. Here is a 3 independent variable. So, here what is a dou y by dou x? You have to differentiation with respect to x. So, both the other variable will be take it a Concept. This is a partial. What is mean partial? Have to differentiate partially, not a whole thing. Have to differentiation partially. So, you have differentiate with respect to x, differentiate with respect to t, differentiate with respect to k. So, this is called partial differentiation. In this same function, you have the more than one more than one independent variable. So, here three variables. So, therefore, I can do this is called partial differentiation. So, I can find out the same thing dou y by dou x. So, other two, two things have to other two variables it will be make it a constant. So, it will be or differentiation x square will be 2x, but this, this will be take it a constant. So, t square into k square. Similarly, how should you find out dou, dou y by dou t? So, here x and t will make it a constant. So, what about now here? This is called differentiation with respect to t. What the differentiation t square will be? This will be 2t. Then what about the k square? k square will be the constant. Similarly, so here I have to differentiate with respect to k. So, x and t will be the constant. So, therefore, here x square t square. What difference with respect to k? Wa? So, therefore, here 2 k. So, this is the ordinary differentiation and the partial differentiation. If you are given the functions, you have to have, have to first it is a how many independent variable. If a functions have only one independent variable, now you can use a ordinary differentiation. If a functions more than one independent variable, you can use the partial differentiation. This is partial differentiation also so many applications. For example, in the partial differentiation, you should, you should find out the one dimensional wave equation and then two dimensional heat equation and then one dimensional heat equation, one dimensional wave equation. These are all the main applications of the partial differentiation. There are so many applications in engineering. Not only engineering, you have daily life, you have to use the differentiation functions. So, if you do the problem, I can find out the formula, some basic formula. If you understand the basic formula, we can do it the problem. So, I can write the formulas here now. 